Hey everybody, it's your boy LaBea Rome, the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back for another review. Do me a favor if you haven't done so already, please go down below, like and subscribe to the channel while you're down there if you wouldn't mind. Please hit that notification bell so you'll be notified about every time I drop a video to YouTube. I want to thank you for rocking with me so far. Let's continue the journey this week with a fragrance and a fragrance house that I have grown to love, admire, respect, and their fragrances exude luxury. This company has captured my mind, my heart, my body, my soul, my thoughts, and my money. Oh, they've captured a crap ton of my money. This is a review on a collaboration between Demi Rawling and Fragrance Dubois, Minuet et Demi. Minuet et Demi came out in 2020. The nose behind the fragrance is Stefan Bengana. In the notes, we have from the top, cardamom, pimento, and bergamot. In the mid, we have caramel and coffee. And in the base, we have vanilla, Madagascar vanilla, cinnamon, tobacco, musk, liquor, cedar, vetiver, and cashmere. Sizes and prices, this is a 100 ml bottle. This is going to run you $350 USD. Let's look at the presentation of this bottle. This, you know Fragrance Dubois bottles, they don't slack on presentation whatsoever. You have the metal plaque here with the Fragrance Dubois logo, the name of the fragrance, and the added benefit of the Demi Rawling autograph right here engraved in the front. You have uh, the Fragrance Dubois logo on the cap surrounded by the Swarovski crystals. This is a heavy, heavy metal cap. If you throw this, you are going to knock someone out. On the back of the bottle, we have the logo again, and it says a, an original perfume by Fragrance Dubois. And on the bottom of the bottle, you have your pertinent information. Presentation is on point for Fragrance Dubois. Now this fragrance is Demi Rawlings version of the consummate gourmand fragrance. It's supposed to be cozy, compelling, sophisticated, seductive, sexy, warm, inviting. Does it achieve those goals? Let's find out. Now, I love the opening of this fragrance, actually. <laughs> I, I, I can't contain my excitement. The cardamom, the pimento, and the bergamot really do something for the opening of this fragrance. Um, they urge the wearer to wait in anticipation for what's to come. Uh, the brightness of the bergamot, the mintiness of the pimento, the sweetness of the cardamom, all combined for a stellar opening. Um, this is not an overly sweet gourmand fragrance. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for not making this overly abundantly, toothachingly sweet, because if that had happened, it would signify to me that this is an immature fragrance, and it is absolutely not an immature fragrance. I know some gourmands can lean into territory that's so sweet that it can induce a headache. Uh, you don't really want to wear gourmands like that up here around your neck area because every time you sweat, they just waft up to your nostrils, and that's not good either. But this straddles the line of being a gourmand, but being a gourmand that is absolutely tolerable and wearable, and I love it. Um, it's reminiscent of two fragrances to me, Guerlain's Tonka Imperial and Parfums de Marly Herod. Now, if you know anything about Demi's content, she loves Herod. Now, I am willing to bet one week of not wearing a fragrance that Herod was an influence in creating this fragrance. I'm totally lying about that. I am never going to go a week without wearing a fragrance. However, I still believe that Herod was an influence in creating this fragrance. Um, it just gives me that sort of a vibe. It's sultry, it's sexy. This is a complete and total night out type of fragrance. Please do not wear this fragrance casually. Give it the respect that it's due. Give the company the respect that they're due. Give the personality the respect that she's due. Do not wear this to the gas station. Do not wear this to Walmart. Do not wear this to the grocery store. Do not wear this. J just don't wear this unless you are in your best dressed clothes heading out 
to one of the best restaurants in whatever city you are located in. This fragrance commands that respect and I want you to give it that respect because this is sexy, seductive, and should be worn in the proper occasions, given the proper respect. And you need to be seen in your best dress clothes, rocking the hell out of this fragrance. Now, Minuet at Demi is very likable. You are not going to find a person that does not like this fragrance. It's very crowd pleasing. It's very elegant. It's very sexy, seductive. All the things that I previously stated. However, there is one thing that I must tell you. As a person with an extensive collection and as a person who reviews many, many different fragrances, I find it to be simple. It's simple. It doesn't, it lacks depth in my opinion. In my opinion, it lacks depth. However, does that make it a bad fragrance? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. This is a very good fragrance. The simplicity is crowd pleasing. However, for $350 a bottle, I would like a fragrance to have a little bit of a transition, a little bit of an arc. We go from the top notes and we go up here and then we kind of plateau a little bit. Then we go down here. Then we kind of even out a little bit. That's the type of transition that I want in a $350 fragrance from Fragrance Dubois, whose ethos is luxury in a bottle. This really doesn't have that. It kind of stays linear on my skin. Um, and that's, like I said, not a bad thing, not a bad thing, but it is a little bit simple in its approach. Having said that, and knowing that it is a good fragrance, am I going to knock it? No, nah, I'm not gonna knock it. I'm not gonna knock it because you wanna know why? I don't want to smell like urinal cakes and civet just for the sake of a creative fragrance. I don't wanna do that. Nobody wants to smell that on me. I don't wanna smell that on me. So while this is simple in its approach, it's very crowd pleasing, it's very seductive and sophisticated, and you should experience it. Along the lines of simplicity, you know, one of the things I long for as a disabled man in this world, one of the things that I hope that we as a society can achieve is simplicity in this world. I don't need my fragrance to be complicated sometimes because there's a whole lot of complication once I walk out my front door to go to work and face the world. I have to deal with breakdowns in mass transit. I have to deal with rude people. I have to deal with people giving me looks and asking questions that are inappropriate for total strangers to ask people with disabilities. I don't need a complicated fragrance on top of everything I face on a daily basis outside my front door. And so for all its grandeur and seductiveness and sophistication, I absolutely adore the simplicity in this fragrance. I absolutely, it, it speaks to me. It speaks to me in a way that is close to my heart. Um, I don't need complications when I'm trying to build confidence to face the world at large. I, I really don't. I just, this fragrance, it says something to me and it says you can face whatever is out there. And that to me is worth every penny that I could ever pull out of my wallet for a bottle. And wow, this, this, this was unexpected. Um, <laughs> so I want to say personally to the company and to Demi Rowling herself, Demi, I know we met once, but thank you for putting your heart, mind, body, and soul into this fragrance. I know it wasn't an easy process. Um, but this makes me feel unstoppable. This makes me feel unstoppable. This makes me feel confident, um, simple yet refined in a way that I can understand as a person, as a person with a disability. Um, it's understated 
which I adore as well because once I walk into a room of people, they're looking at my physical appearance. They're looking at my crutches. They're looking at the way I walk. They're looking at, you know, is he going to fall? Do I need to help him in any way, shape or form? I don't need my fragrance to be loud and unaccommodating uh, along with, in combination with all of these things that these people are already thinking in their minds. And so, um, thank you. So after that emotional breakdown, <laughs> I will tell you that the performance on this fragrance lasts about seven and a half to eight hours on my skin. It's not a beast mode performer. It doesn't have loud projection. It's understated, which as I previously said, I don't mind in the least. You are going to get noticed if people come into your orbit. Um, they are going to notice this fragrance. They're going to smell it to you if they're close, which is exactly what this should be for close combat situations. Last about seven hours on my skin. I think you should experience this fragrance. I think you should get a sample if you can find it. I know it was a limited edition release, um, but I think you should get a sample and I think you should experience all of the ways that this fragrance could possibly impact you as well. Um, that's my time. Thank you. Uh, thank you to Demi. Thank you to uh, Fragrance Dubois. Go down below, like and subscribe. I'll check you next time.